Hey guys, so this is Raymond again from Chungju, Korea, talking about the CPI program and my general experience with living in Korea. Um, right now, what I want to talk about is living as a foreigner in Korea. Uh, I just found out that in Chungju, there's a lot of foreigners living here, primarily doing two things. They're either doing factory work, working in factories, or um, working as English teachers. Those are the two basic ways. Uh, there are other people working in other things, but the majority are in those two categories. And well, let's talk about being a foreigner here. Um, you hear a lot of tips from other, you know, other foreigners about living in Korea and about their experience. Because you want to find out, like, hey, what do you guys think about this? You know, um, where do I go to do that? And a lot of them are really helpful with it. You know, when it comes to, uh, like for me, I love to bicycle. So I'm really asking people about, oh, what's the bicycle culture here like? You know, where do you ride safely? Can you go anywhere with them? Uh, and I like, I notice that a ton of people don't, like only 10% of the cyclists here I see wear helmets. 90% of them just don't care. And I ask them about that. Is that normal? Are they breaking the law or something? But nobody just cares. Things like that. Uh, what I want to focus on in particular for me, looking as Asian as I do. You know, even for Filipino, I look really Chinese or really East Asian. So, yeah, it's a bit of a weird thing. Because like for me in the Philippines, if I go to Chinatown, okay, I will notice that when I talk to the Chinese shop owners and I don't speak Chinese, they're like, you know, why don't you know our culture? And I almost want to explain, dude, I am not Chinese at all. Um, and I'm getting a lot of that here in Korea. Uh, like the other day, I went to the Shijang or the open market. We were, go me and uh, Mohammed, we were going through the bargain centers you know where uh, where the cheap stuff is really um and they see mohammed he's what he's a six foot tall black guy they think immediately definitely not korean they see me so imagine this guys you have a six foot tall black dude and me a really asian looking dude walking together the first thing that comes to their mind is oh he's the foreigner and here's the korean guy who's helping him um, adjust to local culture or he's the Korean guy showing him around so immediately they go to me and start talking to me in Korean and I've got that's why I've gotten uh, a lot of practice with which means again which basically means I am Filipino yeah, I am Filipino, or I'm a Philippine person, or I'm a person from the Philippines. And most of the time, they go, really? You know, you can see it in their face, go, really? You're from the Philippines? And occasionally, I get the, really? Are you sure? And I'm like, yes, dude, I know the country that I was born in. But yesterday was really funny for me, because there was this one lady that would not believe that I'm from the Philippines. They're like, I say the line, Chonun Philippine Haraminida. Saraminida. And she goes, eh, eh, na, 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 na. And she keeps talking to me full on Korean the whole time. And from her body language, I can kind of guess some of the stuff that she was saying. So my eyes weren't glazing over. Like, you know, if you're talking to a foreigner and their eyes glaze over, you know they're not understanding anything. But I can kind of understand from her body language some of what she wants to know. But I do know after a certain point, my eyes were glazing over. And she was like, no, you must be Korean. You don't look Filipino at all. And I'm like, no, no, I am really Filipino. I'm like, I have to keep repeating. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. Who knows? But that is just absolutely funny for me. Okay. Now, when I was talking to some of the English trainers here, um, or the English teachers, they mentioned that, one girl mentioned that, okay, in Korean culture, 
you don't just approach girls on the street. You know, or you don't approach girls in bars or in clubs or whatever. You get introduced, which I get. In the Philippines, 90%, 80% of the time, you do get introduced to people. You don't just introduce yourself. But we, but in the Philippines, there's like a totally different set of rules when you're out in a bar or when you're out drinking, when you're out clubbing. Because it naturally assumes you're in the club scene. And in the club scene, the rule is people can come up to you and talk to you. And then she says, it's not really like that in Korea. This, you know, what some people told me. It's not really like that. Like, you will get snubbed so often. But in my mind, you know, yeah, people will snub you anyway. Uh, but anyway, the other day I was walking around with uh, Dostan and Grisha. So really, they, they look as foreign as they come here in Korea. And they're blonde haired. Grisha has a, I don't know what his eye color is. It's like light blue. Yeah. But anyway, they look really foreign. And when you're out in pubs here, uh, out in pubs or whatever, people will stop them to say hi and chat. You know, like, hey, what are you guys doing? You're foreigners. And again, it happens to me, they think I'm the Korean dude showing them around. Okay, so I just kind of step back a little bit. But I try to get into the conversation when you're talking about English, English, English. And those two boys, the from Moldova and from Uzbekistan, they speak a little bit of English, right? But not a lot. Uh, Grisha thankfully speaks a bit of Korean. But anyway. When they start asking about English, that's when I step in. Oh, oh dude, guys, I'm I'm the English speaker, and then I'm then I introduce myself again. Chonun Raymond Subaimida, Chonun Philippine Haramimida. That's what I say, and it seems to work well enough. Um, and we've been invited out a couple of times. Like people will invite us out to have dinner like hey let's go drinking on this day and like yeah let's do that we don't have phones yet so we're like okay this is my facebook page message me on my facebook and so far that's what we've been doing so i think uh on the one hand people are a little bit uptight you know not uptight but people do have that culture of getting introduced first it seems to be the predominant culture but i think based on my experience so far if you go out to clubs or bars or pubs there is that different set of rules plus if you're a foreigner and you look really foreign so as far as they're concerned you're really super exotic uh, especially for the blonde guys out there the blonde guys are black guys us asian guys anyway um they kind of they know a little bit about your culture they assume that you have a very western um attitude so they they don't feel embarrassed at all about walking up to you it's like uh if you're a foreigner you kind of get the free pass i i what i call it is the crazy foreigner pass you know like even the foreigners in my country when they're there and they make you know um social faux pas uh, or you know mistakes at social events uh people don't care like oh don't worry about him he's a foreigner he doesn't know what he's doing but please explain it to him so you i think you get a little bit of that here too like when they find out you're a foreigner they don't mind it so much if you don't bow at the right times like or you say like they have a lot of greetings and the only one you know is annyeonghaseyo and that's it uh, and they, they're cool with it oh okay he's a foreigner that's all he knows all right or sometimes when you mix up thank you and hello like you mean to say thank you but instead of saying kamsahamnida you say annyeonghaseyo and they go oh but a smile goes a long way uh, so there so that's some of the things that i've been noticing about living in korea about the, the how they look at foreigners um, they're generally pretty cool most of the time they just ignore you really uh, unless you look so totally different then you start getting noticed um, 
which is a good thing and a bad thing, I suppose. So there we are. So this is Raymond, uh, living in Chungju, Korea, signing out.